Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Marianne. This is my dog, Ivana, for those of you that don't know. She is a Yorkshire Terrier. She's a year and a half and she eats homemade dog food. And I'm gonna show you guys in this video how I make it from scratch. It's very simple, it's not hard. When I first started this out, I thought it was gonna be very hard even to think about the measurements and things like that. But it's way healthier to make your dog food at home. I know this is obvious, but me and my husband Adam have been on a health roll lately since about January. And we've been trying to figure out just healthier alternatives to food. So I thought it would be a little hypocritical for us to be healthy for us and not be healthy for my dog. She can't go out and get her own food. So it's totally up to us as dog parents to make sure that she has the best nutrition. Just to give a little disclaimer before I start this video, I know that all dogs are different shapes and sizes, different breeds. I haven't figured it out all the way for my dog. This is just what I'm starting off with and she loves it. She has more energy and everything like that. So I'm just sticking with what works for us. I would recommend that you guys talk to your vet first, look up everything that you can put in the dog food, things that particularly your dog will probably like. So when we first adopted her, she was on a kibble diet and then eventually we transitioned to the wellness petite. I think I'm saying that right. It comes in a little entree. Originally, I thought it was healthy, but but um, lately, like I said, we've been looking at ingredients like crazy. So this made me look at the ingredients in the Wellness Petite that I was using. And guys, when I tell you, it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best. So I would highly recommend you guys stop what you're doing right now and check the ingredients in the dog food that you're feeding your dog. It's very misleading. You think on the front, it's all decorations. The back is really what matters. Those ingredients are really what matters. If you're not feeding them homemade dog food, I would recommend you guys watch this video to the end. I promise you, your dog will love it. They might growl at you for it. That's how good the food is. Like the first time I gave it to her, she growled. So I knew she liked it if she growled, cause you know. These breeds are very stubborn. They're stubborn dogs. They want things for themselves, which is totally okay. Okay, it's in their nature, but she loves this dog food. I'm telling you, don't you? She said, yeah. What I use for the one week supply, but if you want a two week supply and to freeze the rest for the next week, you can just double everything that I'm gonna state. So for Ivana, she's about five pounds. I use one pack of ground turkey, or you can use ground chicken or any meat that you prefer. You're also gonna boil one cup of brown rice, one head of broccoli, about three carrots, one stock of kale. I can kind of show you guys the kale. This is basically what I have. You get it just in a pack. Usually I use the whole pack and I kind of take the stems off. So that's what I'm going to be using today. About one stock of it. I don't even know if that's the right word. One stock, but you know what I mean. And then we're going to use one bell pepper. You can use any color bell pepper. Today I'm going to be using the red bell pepper, but you can use any kind. Green, yellow, orange, whatever you want. And the last thing Lately I've been adding this. I heard that flax seeds are good for dogs. It helps with their coat and it gives them the omega-3 fatty acid. I just add that to the chicken once I cook it. And I'm gonna show you guys all that. Don't even worry, I got you. Basically I'm doing this tutorial how I would want somebody to do a tutorial. So I just wanna make sure that you guys are just thinking of healthier alternatives for your dogs because it's so important. These are our best friends and we want them to live a long life like us. Give them the same food that we eat. I don't understand why kibbles was ever a thing. I think it was solely something to get money. So I can rant about this all day. Let's get to the video. First thing you're gonna do is, well first thing that I do is I add the rice. So. I add two cups of water to every cup of rice. So I'm gonna use one cup of rice for this recipe. Add that to some boiling water and boil it for about 10 minutes. Don't do like me. I would prefer you boil the water first so you don't have to let it sit in there before it boils, but I'm in a little rush. So I'm just gonna do that. So you're gonna boil that.
All right, you guys, so I washed and I cut all of the veggies. I have the bell pepper right here. I got gloves on because I'm about to touch this turkey and it kind of grossed me out touching it with my bare hands now. So yeah, tried to chop it up as finely as I could. It's okay if you have that. Like I said, we're gonna be using a food processor. So there we have it. So I'm about to cook the ground turkey now. The stove is on about medium heat. When I initially made this recipe, I researched some herbs that you can use because I don't want my baby eating nothing bland. So you can actually add cayenne pepper. So I just add just a little bit. You can also add parsley and you can add a little bit of basil. I'm just gonna do cayenne pepper and parsley. potatoes are also done so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just strain the sweet potatoes in here strain all the water out of it like so oh my god it's dripping so we're gonna mix the turkey or the chicken with the sweet potatoes this is really good for her coat. Um, I think after using this, her coat has gotten so much better. I actually make this with treats too, a little homemade dog treats. I don't really measure this, but I just basically add just a good amount. As you can see like that, just a good little amount. So the next thing we're gonna do, I just added a teeny bit of water to this pan. So I'm just gonna add all of my veggies to this mix. I'm spilling everything. So we're gonna steam all this for about 10 minutes on about mm, medium to high heat. We just wanna soften it up a little bit. We also wanna keep the nutrients in it because I know when you overcook veggies, it kind of loses that. So we don't wanna steam it too much. You can also add the approved seasonings to it, like the cayenne that I used in a parsley, or if you wanna use basil leaves and things like that. So I might add this once it steams a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Give your dog just a little bit of flavor. As long as you're not using heavy salt. I mean, don't use any salt at all. I wouldn't recommend that, but. Okay, so we have officially reached the fun part. We are gonna mix everything we have together. What I personally do, you can blend the rice in the food processor, but I personally would not because it's already just so grainy. I would just add everything and then add the rice last. We have our steamed veggies straight off the stove and then we have an extra bowl because we're gonna put it in this bowl after we food process it. So you can do it however you want, but I usually just add it little by little. It just seems to help, especially with the food processor that I personally have. So just adding all of that in there. Little by little. The key is with blending this is to pulse it. You don't want to hold it for a long time like that. You want to just pulse it. Like so. It should come out to something like that. Sometimes you gotta shake it. Like I said, this is what you should have. Just keep blending it according to your preference. I actually think that's pretty good for her right now. I'm gonna blend it just a little bit more. And then you're gonna add it to your mixture over here. There's the mixture. We're gonna mix that and then mix the brown rice last. everything added I blended everything up I made a mess it's all good but last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the rice Alright you guys, so we pretty much have everything all made. I'm still kind of mixing this up a little bit. This is what it should look like though when you're all done. A beautiful platter of love, homemade love, better than a crappy guy from the pet store. So that's all I'm saying. Highly recommend it. So I'm gonna add it to these glass airtight sealed containers.
this will last her for about a week I usually make a two week supply if I really want to, if I know I'm gonna be busy in time to make the next batch. It takes nothing to make this, guys. Not that time consuming. We can cook for ourselves, we can cook for our dogs, for sure. Save ourselves the time and the money. Trust me, you're saving money. And your puppy will love it. She will literally be waiting here just like my dog. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys me feeding her this food too once I put it in my storage container Like I said if you're doing a two-week supply what you would do is Contain it in here make sure it's a freezer safe container and it'll last you for at least two weeks I just poured some of her food in here. So I want to show you guys on camera And there you have it a very happy healthy dog. All right, you guys here's Adam eating some pizza but <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's been a while, you know, hey. So yeah, you guys, I hope this video is helpful for someone out there that has a furry friend that they wanna make sure that they live a very long life. I promise you, they will love this recipe. The flaxseed is also good because it keeps their coat nice and soft and fluffy and keeps them from getting that dandruffy, dry skin that they get. So I would highly recommend you guys try it out. Let me know in the comments how you guys like it. Make sure you guys DM me on Instagram at Mary Ann R. Neal to let me know any questions that you guys have. Let me know how your dog likes it. So just let me know. Leave it in the comments below. I'll put everything in the description box to our Amazon storefront so you guys can buy the food processor and everything like that. I wanna help you guys out as much as possible because I wanna make sure that our dogs live a long life. I promise you they will love this. Their fur will be better. They'll have more energy and everything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video.